Welcome to the Learn to Use Your Online Class-Based Webinar Recording. This topic will be useful for ACAP students enrolled in the Bachelors of Counselling, Counselling Coaching, Applied Social Science, the Graduate Diploma of Counselling and the Masters of Counselling and Psychotherapy. This is a recording of the material we cover in the live webinar of this topic. You may want to just watch the video straight through or use the pause button if you need to. The webinar slides are available at this link. In this video, we're learning how to log into the student portal and navigate around. We also want to learn how to stay informed and find out what to do in the class spaces each week and how to find and submit assignments. We're also going to look at communicating with teachers and other students. As a new student, your username and password for the student portal will have been mailed to you by ACAP. You may need to look back through the emails you received before the start of your course to find it. If you can't find the login details, get in touch with the IT Help Desk. Once you have your login details, go to acap.edu.au. The link to access the student portal is at the top here. Put your student number and password here. When you log in, you'll see this main screen first. It's a good idea to keep an eye on the news items on this front page. On the left, you can see links to parts of the student portal. My classes, archived classes, email, IT help desk, personal details, enrolment, financial statements and help. Let's go to my classes. On this page, you'll see a list of your units and also a link to the School of Counselling Student Lounge. Let's look at that first. As you can see, the Student Lounge has lots of helpful sections. The School News is a great way to stay on top of what's happening with the school, like events, notices and changes. There's a page with key contacts within the school and information for new students. Let's have a look at that. It's a good idea to come in and explore the new student information. You'll have lots of questions about your course and many of the answers are here. Questions about enrolment, course sequence, assignments, online and on-campus study. Back to the Student Lounge main page. Here you can write questions and get answers from School of Counselling staff. This forum is for administration and course questions. We'll look at contacting your teacher a bit later. There's info here on student reps and seminars coming up. Then here there's student forums. In the forums section you can look for a study buddy, buy or sell a secondhand book textbooks and get onto the ACAP Facebook group. Now let's go back to the My Classes summary page. To go into an individual class space, we'll click here. This is a class space for the unit conflict resolution. There are lots of things in the class space, but let's start with getting set up for study. Firstly, you want to find out what the textbook is for the unit. We click on the unit outline here, and then we click again on this unit outline link to open a PDF document. Here is some general information about the unit and then the textbook information. Coop.com.au is a good place to get your textbooks. OK, so now what should you be doing each week? So for each week there is information to read and activities to do here in the weekly sections. There are 12 sections for 12 weeks of the trimester. I'll open section 1. Each weekly section is organised like a book. This is the first page and you can either use the arrows here to move forwards and back through the pages or choose your page from the menu here on the left. The page called Section Requirements tells you what you should do during this week. You can see that you need to read a chapter of the textbook as well as other readings provided here. Each week read through these section notes and do any activities and readings provided. Now a tip for you. Each weekly section has a reference list. This tells you the books and other resources that were used to write the weekly section. These resources are a great place to start looking for information for your own assignments or to find extra readings if a topic particularly interests you. If you're an online or blended delivery student, you may have live online classes. Check the announcements forum here regularly to find out about days and times. The live classes are held in a platform called Blackboard Collaborate, which you access here. There's a video on using Blackboard Collaborate here too. Okay, 
Let's move on to look at assignments. Let's go back to the unit outline link. Here, there's a summary of the assessment requirements for the unit. I need to open the unit outline PDF link here to get to the actual assignment questions. They're usually about halfway through this document. OK, here we are on page 8. This is what the assignment questions look like. The next page has the marking criteria. Look at that as well when you're doing your assignments. When you're ready to submit your assignment, go to the week it's due and there'll be a submission link. Some units give you access to Smart Thinking, and if it's available, the link is here. Smart Thinking is a service that gives you feedback on your draft assignment. It takes up to 48 hours to get feedback, so you need to send it to Smart Thinking a bit before the assignment due date. You'll get an email to your student email address when your assignment result is ready. OK, some final things. To stay up to date with news from your teacher, go to the Unit Announcements link here. The general discussion area here is a way to ask questions and communicate with your teachers and classmates. You may want to ask your teacher a private question. An email is a way to do that. To find an email address for your teacher or classmates, go to the Participants link here. This general information link takes you to a page that has lots of info on things you'll want to know about, including instructions for submitting assignments. So explore this area. Over on the right here is a link to get in touch with staff in the School of Counselling. And finally, this apple here takes you to the Learning Support website, which has information on assignment writing, referencing and lots of other study skills. Get in touch with us at Learning Support if you have any queries or you need specific advice about an assignment you're writing. Good luck with your studies.